Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories and lives of your favorite celebrities. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I've got Ewa Luo Ritu and Benny Ak. Hi. How are you doing? People not scream, welcome back. Where did you go to? I'm so disappointed. Where did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> If you, you had left me. Nigeria, we'll miss you. But you're in the shores of this country. So wow. We can't miss I, I mean, you. I, wow. did, I did miss you a, a weeny, weeny, tiny bit like this. Like, I did miss you. Yeah. Wow. That's a good thing. I, I'm sure people are too miss me. Everybody else miss me. Yeah, they must yeah, have. Yeah, something like now, but we'll get to this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that point. You just had to go there straight, right? You want to kick up with that? We can't keep we are kicking up with that. Don't worry. Okay. We are keeping, uh, we are keeping up with um, her... Should I call him your mentor now? Well, anyway, she's a Malian, and there are Malian. Oh, I'm a Malian, yeah, but he's EP. not my mentor. <laughs> In his words, he said, "I'm dropping five to six tracks EP." And of course, he had a bit of competition around it, but it's not about the competition; it's about mm. the fact that he's dropping an EP. So, what do you expect, Auntie Malian? Hmm. What the? <laughs> Uh, normal Malian style, you know, mm -hmm. and then Malian, um, I say Malian, normally, <laughs> normally can pull anything on us, you know, mm -hmm. you might be expecting the old Malian vibe and then he'll give us something like what he gave us on Davido's album. What did the, he give you? The old, oh, he wasn't looking, in fact, people were asking, are, are you sure normally you say Malian? Mm -hmm. with, that, with the way it sounded on that track, you know. But I'm, I'm expecting the best from him. Mm -hmm. It's Naira Mali. I mean, YC said he's the biggest artist in Nigeria he right just now. Had do a you, do you, just had a do you agree with that? Yeah, I had to Who go there. Who's the biggest artist? Biggest, mm. The biggest, the, the biggest no, rap artist. Rap the rapper, rap the rap rapper of the year, he said. Mm. The rap, he called him the rapper of the year. Now, I'm going to go to my genesis with Naira Mali. Mm -hmm. I want to get into his mind. Hmm. I want to know how he thinks. <laughs> How he wakes up, how he sleeps, and how he goes about his daily life. Mm -hmm. You know, his music is endorses, glorifies sex, masturbation, drug abuse, and it beats my mind. I'm like, is this because is he is he exemplifying himself as um, a victim of my environment? Mm -hmm. These were the things I was I was used to, exposed to growing up. Mm -hmm. Because I don't get it. People vibe to his song a lot, mm. you know, but I, I ask myself, do people really pay attention to what this young lad is saying? He glorifies masturbation. Actually, he glorifies. She, she, she he glorifies answer. sex. Do you pay attention? I, don't, to I really don't think so. Just, just a bit. He, he glorifies everything wrong against norm, against society, mm. you know. But in his craft, people have come to admire him. Well, the only thing wrong in what you've mentioned is drug abuse, though. <laughs> Actually, I'm just saying. Are you sure you're not a Malian? No, well, I'm she not. is. That's she it. Because, is. because she's she trying to, because she's trying you don't have any me, problem with any of the other things I did mention. You mm. just could be a Malian. You she just don't have a problem with sex. No, I don't have a problem with no, sex. No, I mean, let me let you know. The honest truth is, most people, most people in Nigeria mm. actually listen to all these foreign artists sing about sex, drugs, and all other things, and they don't find anything wrong with it. But because it's singing is on in native language, they are back, that's, that's the saying. problem. They are, they, 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 they voice out what they grew up on. Mm. And so for me, that's why like, I want to get into Naira Mali. Like, and where you did you, think Naira Mali did not grow up on, on what he's talking about? You know, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he did, and so I like, and he makes it it fanciful. It, mm. it makes you like it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There, is, there, there is a little bit of me that is Malian mm. because I'm a rebel. He's a rebel, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's with a cause. You know, okay. I'm a rebel with a cause. Okay. You know, so um, I'm I'm looking forward to the EP. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he's going to say differently. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, but I don't see anything coming out differently from the. Unfortunately, he did not give thing. us a date or a time, mm. but we know it is dropping. And he's telling us to guess to um, give him the title. Uh, yeah, with, with the one other kicking. Call Malian. Yeah. Not we. That are not sure of our identity well, yet. Well, maybe something like. Like Malian crazy. But like you know, you know, you, you don't, you don't fit that patch. You gotta be disorderly in your dressing and everything. The, the ladies, the Malian ladies, they, do they dress well? You yes. Shorts, torn, so can Malian wear the Malian and she dress so well? Oh please. So can Malian wear farms anything that's trending? As long as you are on top, she oh, wants please. to keep being oh, on top. Oh wow. So yeah. It's not. I, 
Okay, moving on. So <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nollywood actor Zubi Michael has been appointed a special advisor to Governor of Anambra State, Rulio Biano. He announced the good news via his Instagram page where he shared a photo of himself holding what appears to be his appointment letter with the caption, duty calls, hashtag essay on media, hashtag doings, hashtag now we day here, hashtag bless up. Mm. No. Congratulations, Congratulations to him. Um, Benny has something to say. Do okay. I now? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Anambra State, is, Anambra, Anambra State is, mm -hmm. is, has a track record of having people from Hollywood yeah. Yeah. come. Essay to essay media. Essay. Mm -hmm. One time, I mean, Yul Doce was also essay, but I don't yeah. know what his portfolio was right mm -hmm. now. It was still to another Anambra State government mm. um, in, that, in that time. You know, but I'm particular about their portfolio. What are the briefs? Do they really do anything? You know what I mean? Okay, for media now, one is going to expect he's going to be doing a whole lot of PR for, for his mm, governor. He's I mean, an advisor. Oh, he's just an so advisor. So there's a situation on ground. ground. Okay, so he and then he so, listens to the people. As a Nollywood actor, mm, he yeah, should be closer so to them. He's like the voice, he's like the the voice the of the people to, to, the, to governor. the governor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the governor still has to decide yeah. whether so, I want oh, to take And then and advice, let's not forget he's an advisor. And you can always take an advice or reject it. Yeah, not a senior not a senior, and there's senior assistant or senior advisor. He's just mm. the senior assistant to the president on blah, 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 senior advisor. Last, <laughs> last, it's just call a salary for a period of time and enjoy your life. But I would want to be an essay one time, I, very who, soon. Who, who would I want to be an essay? <laughs> Media, I've, I've been in this business for over 15 years, so okay. I don't state, I mean, mm. yeah. I so. hear your governor is doing a lot, and he's working with, um, a lot of youth, so maybe yeah. you should go back home and speak yeah, to I'm him. Yeah, I'm thinking if, they, if they're watching, I want to come be SA media to the governor of Edo State to okay. be to be a good job. Congratulations, mm, congratulations. Thank you. Very <laughs> <much>. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say congratulations to him, and mm -hmm. I hope he uses this position for something good. And when it's done with that portfolio, people mm -hmm. will remember him for something nice. Not that he was just there receiving salary. And not just now we did. Yeah. Mm. It's time for a quick break, but when we return, we definitely have more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. So it's time to talk about CDQ. It was person. He said he's got 20 million people ready to die for him. This reaction is coming after hitting 2 million followers on Instagram. He tweeted, and I quote, everyone be sending me congratulation messages over a million followers on Instagram. But sorry, I'm not um, freaky about that. that. Let's fall out of, um, let's fall out to the real world. And you know, I've got over 20 million people out there ready to die for CDQ anytime, any day. Whoops. Hashtag Maso. Is it Nayamali? <laughs> is it Nayamali? Are you ready to die for Nayamali? And you know, Nayamali, I'm not ready. ready to die for Nayamali. People went to protest when he was at the okay, court. Well. I mean, people were bold enough to stand for him, but mm -hmm. CDQ, we've not seen anything like that. He had that. a show um, around this time last year in somewhere at Lekki, and Ife, our uh, co anchor, was. Went to cover it, and I know what he said when he came back. I think he even mentioned it on he the mentioned show. It like on the he show, wasn't. Yeah. He did not pull the crowd. So. Where did he get this 20 Online million? Off how, line. how did the 20 million, why didn't the 20 million people show up for your concert? Like, they're probably busy, you know, wow. they have things to do. Wow, awesome. Just playing the devil's advocate. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, Benny. <laughs> I know you have a lot to say. <laughs> CDQ probably got too much of um, that stuff when he tweeted what he tweeted, when he, maybe he had too much of nothing that alters the mind. Mm. Um, what thing is that? 
whatever, yeah, whatever it is, it's, whatever it, it is, <laughs> what, it's okay, on. Whatever alters his yeah, mind. Whatever yeah. alters his mind. Okay. So he probably would have had too much of it. At the end of the day, I'm asking myself, who are you? You're not, you're not, you're not a civil activist. You're not, you're not a community activist. You're not impacting people's lives in any way. Mm. You're just one artist that's saying... Why are you going so far? Just dissecting the entertainment yeah, industry. <laughs> you're, just one, you're just one artist who's not even rated A, and you sing no. some pretty dumb songs, and um, mm. you, should be, you should be grateful you have a million following on, on Instagram. I mean, you should be grateful. It's, it's an achievement. It's a feat for you, CDQ. And don't two get million, fooled. Two million. Two million followers. Mm -hmm. You should be grateful, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, I want to know what your Twitter following is like. Mm. Mm. Instagram, anybody can, people, you don't need to do anything on Instagram. True. Just just be pretty it's dumb on Instagram. Get, oh, wow. You will get followers. Or just post nice pictures. You know, so that's it. So at the end of the day, <laughs> coming out to not brag about it to me, just I just find it arrant nonsense. It's just being bragging. But he's saying he doesn't care about the followers on Instagram. Oh, yeah, right. But why didn't he post it on Instagram oh, and watch that followers reduce? That's it. Why did he have he to go to Twitter yeah. to right. say to my mind. You are talking about the Instagram followers post and people are post it on Instagram and see what will I happen. I see how people are... I mean, <laughs> Nigeria have no you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't care. I mean, you fall out to the street and so you have over 20 million people. That's... It's deluded. It's Very fooling deluded. himself. Mm. He should get away with himself and be grateful for the 2 million. Or maybe he was not just serious about IG. it. Maybe he was joking. It was just... A tweet, you know. I, I want to talk think. About I want to think. Well, because it can't be. Him. Can he be serious? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I just think we just wasted like the last couple of minutes talking about irrelevant CDQ. Wow. Okay, let's not waste any more minutes. Moving on to the <laughs> next story. It took me two days to know Rotimi was my husband. I wish I said that, but I did not. Vanessa FD <laughs> said that. Rotimi is a Nigerian American born actor we all love from 50 Cent TV series Power. I am why Vanessa MD is a Tanzanian born singer. I don't think she's a songwriter, I'm not sure, but yeah, she's a singer. Mm. Okay, so they're in a relationship. Apparently, I had no idea until this news broke out. Um, a rumor, there's been rumors here and there, but <coughs> and she's, she's, that now. she's sure that he's her husband. In two days. In two, okay, no, 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 she like that's after two days of them meeting or something. Mm. Okay, I'm happy for them if this happens. I hope that. Um, he ends up being her husband. Mm. And it's just, for my own mind, let me just say my mind, I'm not trying to be deep in any way. Mm. When I saw it, I was felt like, let us, just allow us finish crushing on him. He's in Nigeria at the moment, or has he left? He's left. He's left. So he came to Nigeria, and people were all over him. He went to Abuja, he went to some place in Lagos, and he's gone back, I think, from mm. what he's just saying. Yeah, and the play network, we're just, the play I mean, network we're guy just, brought him over to We're just Nigeria. getting over him. So let us... Well, that's a man. <laughs> She can't keep calm. <laughs> That's the man. She needs to claim a man every she, second. I saw a comment. Someone said, where's the ring, though? Oh, it's coming. It's, no, the ring is coming. People should stop asking about the sorry, ring. Sorry, before you come in again, someone said, do you know how many men I have felt this way for? I mean, as women, I think we do that a lot. Like, but you meet a guy that is so cool. Mm. You guys are vibing well. He's okay in the sense of being okay for you. Mm. And you feel like... I think we're supposed to spend the rest of our lives together, right? And it's it's left for time to show us if that's going to work or not. Well, um, on that, I feel like things work for people differently. Mm -hmm. And if you know what you want, you can meet someone today, and at that point, you know that well, this is my husband. Mm. And that's happened to a lot of people. And it they're has. Still together, and mm -hmm. they, they're probably going to spend the rest of their life together. I believe her. I mean, the way she, he looks at her, I'm like, mm, I just hope he feels the same way. Uh, you are still hoping. I mean, I don't know his mind, though. <laughs> okay, Men are funny. Mm -hmm. Vanessa MD, she, she's hot. You can't take that away from her. Mm. She's, she's, she's pretty. really she's beautiful. Pretty. She's curvy. She's like a total package. You and know she's what stylish. Mean? She's gorgeous. And my problem with this is the, the media the media publicity she's given to it. Mm. Why not let us, let the dust settle? Be sure this guy is really into you. He, he lives in the United States. Um, well, I don't know. She's probably moved. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Well, she, she she's always in LA. I mean, so mm. so I don't. I don't know what his relationship is with other females over there. And so, just for you to just come out rightly and put it out in the media, that mm. maybe there's something we're not privy to between her and, and Rotimi. Mm -hmm. You know. So at the end of the day, let's hope that there's no other girl, someone that's not going to come out and say Rotimi is my man. You know, because we talked about this some days ago. The pressure with this, yesterday, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. the pressure um, when um, Harry Song was saying he was going to get married to Sioma. East Yoma in 2020, <laughs> you exposed your relationship status to the entire world. Mm -hmm. There's going to be pressure on you. 
there's going to be expectations on you. You have to keep keeping up with the Joneses. So what if now goes south? Everything now ends. I mean, suddenly, you've told the whole world you, you got to know that he's going to be your husband just two days of being meeting Well, Stefan Dunn said I mean, the same thing. I think they're still strong. Not yeah, that, for she now. Didn't, she didn't put it exactly. I don't think they're breaking up. Though. For now. They no, are not, no, I'm not, I'm not I don't saying that. No, for me, saying. even if they are breaking up, I, I don't saying. see anything wrong with it. People get into um, relations, ordinary people that are not celebrities get into relationship, and everybody around them knows, and it comes to an end, and they still move on. Everybody will move on, even if this that is happens. It. You just said it. You are a celebrity. Already your life is in the spotlight. Mm. So there's a part of your life you should keep private from the public. Right. What, I and mean, listen, this is it. I feel relationship is one of those things in your life that you should keep private from the media. Because well, already, if she you, can you're handle right, you're right whatever here. comes with it, I think that's okay. If you, you want to you put your always mind... Think, you always think you can handle the pressure start coming up. Well, I just don't know what yeah. I said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Most Which women, is, we tend to see our husbands in different men until we finally see the husband. So oh, it's maybe all this is good. Our husband. I just want to I, I, I hope so. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I hope so for her. I want to also stay positive for it. You need and to have that Tanzanian Nigerian wedding. Hmm. Is this the wedding that is your problem? I just want to see the wedding. <laughs> I just wanted to see them together. I mean, they look so beautiful together. Mm. So I really want to see them together on their big day. Mm. Can't wait. Go to me or more Yoruba. She's already projecting marriage. It's time for a quick <laughs> break. But when we come back, we have one more story to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, <laughs> Ali. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's why they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. A judge has ordered the father of supermodels Bella and Gigi Hadid, Mohammed Hadid, to pull down his half built $100 million bail, eh, mega mansion. Mm -hmm. Mohammed Hadid has been involved in a long legal battle over the residence after neighbors complained about its size. Several neighbors sued him, claiming they lived in constant fear of the hillside collapsing and that their privacy and serenity was invaded by the illegal and unsightly unstructured structured, um, looming above them. The judge decided it was a clear and present danger to other properties in the area. The ruling came after a structural engineer said supporting piles were not driven far enough into the ground underneath the hillside property. The judge said, and I quote, if this house came down um, the hill, the, came down the hill, it would take a portion of the neighborhood with ease. End of words. So, this is a very sad story. I mean, yeah, it's a big loss for And him. it's been ongoing for a while. Mm. Um, and I'm wondering... He's always been very optimistic about it, saying... Uh, I think there was a time he was quoted to saying that before this beauty will come down, down, then Bel Air has to go down. Mm. Like... He was also saying that so many engineers and government, people from government bodies have come so um, to expect it and they didn't see a problem with it. So I don't know how this ended, how we ended up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he always said this is like him. a winch. Which on which hunt, yeah. Man. I feel so sad for him because he's losing a lot of money. Yes, he is. Wow. Yes, he is. You see, I think it's I want to I I take to the side of Mohammed Adid in this story. I think there's, there's practically a winch hunt for mm. some political reasons going on on him. This is the United States, for Christ's sake, we're talking about. And this mm -hmm. is Bel Air, one of the most, I mean, posh places to live in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. There are structural engineers, there are building engineers, all kinds of engineers that will have been involved in this building. Mm. And they will have tested... Over you know, the years. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the point. That's what I said. They will have tested, they will have done their, their tests, they will have done everything they will mm. to do structurally to say, you know what, this building... Is fit. Of no course, there was danger. also an architectural design that needed approval you know, and things like that. That so. this poses no danger to anybody. Mm -hmm. So maybe at the end of the day, the truth about what really the situation, the issue is, will have to come to fall. But for now, 
This is the United States, for Christ's mm. sake. They can tell. They can tell if this building is going to come down anytime soon. It is not Nigeria. Mm. You know? But do you think he's going to contest this in court? Though? Of course, yes, he will. Are you sure? He Even definitely, to he demolish definitely the will. house is going to take thousands About six of months. And then yes, and he's going to spend serious money million, to demolish. Did you just say thousands? <laughs> <laughs> Millions. So I feel this case is ongoing. I don't think it's ended because, like you said, he's definitely so. going to contest it, and that building is still going to be there. So, it's... I feel like it's just unfair. If after all these years, you're just realizing now that the building is um, poses threat to the community, mm -hmm. it's just very wrong. Other people have come to inspect this, and you know that this man has spent so much money mm -hmm. on this project, and you're doing this. Like you said, something is fishy somewhere. Yeah, well, neighbors are complaining. Neighbors are scared for their life that right. it poses imminent danger. So they just need to. A lot will be involved. It's going to take more than just a court ruling and all that to bring that, that mansion down. Mm -hmm. it's, going, it's going to go on for a long time. I don't see it ending, in this case, ending anytime soon. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that house, that mansion is not coming down anytime soon either. Maybe, well, like you said, before that building will go down. <laughs> the whole of Bella, just maybe, uh, literally. I also, I, I hope that we will get to this point in this part of the world mm. where we take our... Uh, our structural designs and the things we build in certain places seriously because when I read this I couldn't help but think about us here how you see churches where they're not supposed to be you see schools where they're not supposed to be you see a building and you know just, where thank you so I, I hope and I hope that our real estate laws will get better and properly implemented because mm. I don't want to even believe that they are not there I feel like we still have some of them but because we have are ways of cutting corners. Once you can shut the right people up, mm. you build what you want to build until there's a government that wakes up to say, oh, you're no longer part of us and want to bring down your business. You know, So I hope that we can take our environment seriously, the way a neighbor can wake up and say, so there's a church here. I think that church should be closed, closed down. It shouldn't be here. And things I get I think that's done. happening in Lagos already. I was just going to say that like, Lagos, some days ago, yesterday, some days ago, some, some churches' marks were, were shut, shut down. down. Mm -hmm. And I think more of that needs to be done because uh, yeah. you come into a residential zone and there's just this church mark somewhere. I'm in one Noise building. pollution, mm -hmm. disturbing the peace and tranquility of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It is not just right. Like you rightly said, right. some people didn't do due diligence. And just because you can cut shutters and shut some people's some mouths up and, and exchange and exchange money, mm -hmm. you allow those things to be in those in those environments. I'm trying to recall the last incident that happened sometime. It was the early this year, mm -hmm. a school that was cited where there was, it wasn't meant to be their students. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it was this year. This year. This year. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you could see the disaster that was. Parents, yeah, I mean, parents. Were saying they didn't even know the school existed until the building collapsed. Mm. Somebody didn't do their jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And well, somebody got we, paid. we, as people, also should try to hold ourselves responsible or accountable because I mean, these are well, I think if the laws are better, people will start holding each other. Accountable I mean, if you know that if you do this, the thing, building he's talking in particular, people were living, I think, below and above, above and they knew there was a school there. Did they report to the right authorities? What did they do? Or we just said, I beg, it's a business. Even if there's own. no school there, is the building strong enough to be cited there, or is it okay for that building to be there if students didn't die? Other people will probably die. What is wrong is just wrong. It does mm. not matter if it's a school or a church or whatever. People need to do more, like you said. It's not everything is not about the government. If you know what is right, do what is right. Well, sometimes it's about the government because if you know, you have to pursue it somewhere. Mm. So when you get to that point of pursuing and nobody's taking you serious, what do you do? You go back to your bed and think of your life. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I think that's how we're this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, you can watch Tea Time on r TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewalu Oritsu and Benny Ak. Thank you so much. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have yourselves a good day.